do you know? How Kong went to Skull Island. While exploring the mysterious depths of the Hollow Earth, we stumbled upon a shocking revelation about Kong. Surprisingly, Kong and Godzilla weren't alone down there. An entire species of these colossal titans existed. A hidden world of giants. A long time ago, there was a colossal titan war beneath the Earth's surface when Kong was just a tiny baby. He saw these epic battles happening around him. In the middle of all those huge titan battles, Kong's wise parents came up with a brave plan. They went on a dangerous journey through tunnels and caves deep underground. Eventually, they found a secret way out of the Hollow Earth. And ended up on the mysterious Skull Island. The showman who brought Kong to New York returns to Skull Island and finds Kong's son, a spunky 12-footer with a winning personality and his dad's awesome strength. The filmmakers who created King Kong kept the excitement going with the sequel. Released the same year as the original Kiko is the albino son of King Kong who appeared in the 1933 RKO Radio Pictures film Son of Kong. Left on his own on Skull Island following his father's capture and subsequent death, Kiko was encountered by Carl Denham when he returned to the island with Hilda Peterson. This creature, who is far from an adult member of his species, stood out for his white fur, which made him visually distinct from his father. Though he was created using many of the same models from the 1933 film, Little Kong was no more than 12 feet tall. It's unclear just how big Kong is exactly, but considering what's shown in the Godzilla vs. Kong trailer, he should be between 350 to 400 feet given Godzilla is 393 feet, unless he's grown in time since Godzilla, King of the Monsters. If Kong has a scale factor of 64.5, his strength would increase by a factor of 4,160. That means that Kong would be able to bench press 16.6 million pounds, 74 million newtons. Thanks for watching Watch Movie. Subscribe our channel to support us. See you in next video.